I want to tell you today that there's only one way a person can be ready for the greatest event in the history of the human race, and that is the coming of Jesus. There's only one way, and that is by true faith, by repentance, by acceptance of the blood on the cross, and then by baptism if you haven't been baptized. And I'm going to ask these people to come down the front. Now, some folks get embarrassed at altar calls. That's only because the devil is getting them embarrassed. When you and I are facing eternity, we need to make some strong decisions. I'm going to ask these people to come. Number one, you may be a church member. Maybe you've gone to church 20, 30, 40, 50 years. But in your heart, you desperately want to be ready when Jesus comes. You really want to be ready when Jesus comes. I'm going to ask those who have never been baptized to come with them. And I'm going to ask you now, can you sing a verse of it? You know the words? I thought you would. As Steve sings, this is a little unrehearsed, Steve, isn't it? This is how we normally do our programs on radio too. Steve's going to sing this room of the cross for you. If you want desperately to be ready when Jesus comes, if you want to be a born again Christian, some person says to me, I don't like those old terms. Well, my friend, they're Bible terms. There's only one way into the kingdom of God and that is through being born again. That's the door into the kingdom. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom. I'm going to ask you to stand up as Steve sings I'll come and stand down the front here with my Bible. And I want you to come because there's room at the cross for you. If you're a church member, you may be the first one who needs to come. Lead us, Steve. The cross upon which Jesus died is a shelter in which we can hide and it's grace so free sufficient for me and deep is its fountain as wide as the sea sing with me there's you to come as close as you can and remember as we come we don't come because this is a confession of righteousness we come because this is a confession of our unworthiness come close there's room at the cross for you Steve's going to sing the next verse or else you can sing the first one if you don't remember the second verse that'll be fine Paul is going to play it again it's room of the cross. I want you to know this. Every person, listen hard to this. We'll never get to heaven because we're good enough. We'll never get to heaven because we have obeyed the teachings that we believe in. Because none of us have obeyed them good enough. We get to, to heaven because there's room at the cross. And if you feel a need today that you want to be right with God, you want to be saved, you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, hope and joy and glory, so that after this church service, you can shout glory like the glory man does. Let's have a glory now, James. Ah, that's a good glory. <laughs> when you get the love of Jesus in your heart, now I meet some people, they, they say, our church is such 
that nobody would shout glory, well, you just go along to that church and that you'll probably find out the reason why. It's only when you see Jesus on the cross dying for you and coming again that you want to shout glory. And so Steve sings the next verse. You come today, come not because you're good, but come because he's good enough for us. The hand of my Savior is strong and the love of my Savior is long through sunshine or rain through loss or in gain the blood flowed from Calvary to cleanse every stain there's room at the cross for you sing with me there's room at the cross for you though millions have come oh, you to know this today. The only way a person can be ready for the second coming if he accepts what Jesus did at the first coming. Amen. See, the problem with the children of God back there, the remnant church back there who kept all the commandments, they couldn't get ready for His glorious coming because they didn't want Him on the cross as their Savior. And the only way a person can be ready for the second coming when he comes in glory is by coming as a child and by coming as a sinner and by coming all broken up and saying, I'm not good enough. Do you want to know what the worst sin is, friend? Churchiness. Self-righteousness. Where I say with the Pharisee, I'm glad I'm not like these other people. I fast twice a week and I pay my tithes. That man didn't go down to his house justified, but the publican who cried out, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner, he went down to the house justified. I want to come today as a prodigal. I want to come as a publican. I want to come as a, a sinner saved by grace.